Good morning. Welcome to Parents Live from Arizona Science Center. I'm Beth Nickel, and I'm here this morning to talk to you guys and share just a couple of fun activities with you to continue to um, help keep your kids' math skills up to speed this summer. So, uh, you know, whether or not you are just looking for some more fun and exciting things to help them keep skills going, or if you really want to try to introduce a new couple of new concepts to your kids, these are some really easy things you can do. Today we're going to focus on probability. And probability is basically just what is the chance or probability that something is going to happen. So we see um, probability all the time in our everyday lives. I know uh, right now we've got monsoon season uh, starting up here in Arizona. And so you hear on the uh, weather reports every day there is a 10% chance of rain or a, a 30% chance of um, something, uh, storm clouds or wind, et cetera, happening. So that is just really looking at what is the probability that we will see rain or the probability that we will um, have uh, lightning strikes happening around. So again, probability is something that you have in your everyday life that everybody experiences. So very quickly, um, if you joined the last time I was on, we talked about different math activities, again, using things like cards and dice. So today we're going to continue using our cards and dice and a couple other things to really look at um, you, uh, working with probability. So one of the easiest things that you can use are some coins. If you have two quarters or pennies, dimes or nickels, etc. So when you think about flipping a coin, you're doing that. You are, you are looking at what is the probability that you're going to land on a head or tails. So looking at a coin, when flipping a coin, what do you think the probability of getting heads is on your when you when you toss the coin well it's a 50 percent chance okay so you have a 50 percent probability that you're going to land on heads so if you were to flip your coin 10 times you could uh, with your child sit down and figure out what is the probability out of 10 times that you would land on heads or that you would land on tails and so really looking at uh, that, if you add an additional coin, now you have the probability doubled because you, you have two heads or you have two tails. So if I'm going to roll my or uh, flip my coin, then I have a double the chance of getting a one head or one tail. Or if I want to see what is my probability of getting two heads on a roll, or two tails on a roll. So again, coins are an easy way to introduce probability, looking at that uh, what what percentage or what is that chance of rolling a heads or tails when you are flipping a coin. Another one is looking at cards. Again, I love my decks of cards, they're super easy. So if you were to grab 10 cards, and I'm, I made it very easy for myself, I've got um, different numbers of each one of the face cards. So in my set of 10 cards, I have four queens, three kings, uh, what, two aces, and one jack. So I have a different number of each one of the face cards in here. And again, talking about what is the probability of pulling out a king. So if I know I have three kings in here and I have 10 cards, what do you think my probability is of pulling out a king? Okay, so I have three kings, ten cards, so a three in ten chance. So if I'm looking and I turn all my cards over, then if I flip up one, I got a queen. So on my first try, I did not get a king. Put them all together again, mix them up, pull out a second, and keep going this route. Okay, so I'm zero for two out of my uh, uh, pulling out looking for my kings. So again, you can use cards to really look at how to um, really provide a little bit more in-depth uh, gaming with your children for looking at probability. And then finally, 
It's my other favorite uh, object to use for math in the summer is dice. So if I have one die, I have, uh, looking at each one of the numbers on here, I have one number one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six. So if I'm rolling my die, I can look and say I'm going to have a one in six chance of rolling a six. Okay, hey, look at that. I actually did it that time. So if I kept continue to do this, oh, I only rolled a three that time. You can do a series of ten rolls and see how often you get a six and look at that probability. Again, you if you added a second dice, that would increase. So if I have a one in six chance with one die, then I would have a two in twelve or two in six chance of rolling a um, a one again. So if I took them, so if I've got two dice, I'm trying to roll one. Uh, didn't get any on that one. So again, just uh, really looking at how you can use simple things that you hopefully have at home or you can buy for very inexpensive to work with your uh, kids on really uh, honing in or continuing to practice those skills of probability. We are getting ready, Arizona Science Center is getting ready to launch a new program um, on Monday called Connect at Arizona Science Center. So if you go to our website at azscience.org, you can learn more information about different resources, including um, some of our free resources that we've had uh, with our um, Facebook Lives like this, as well as uh, some of our DIY activities, et cetera, um, on our website. But then we've got other opportunities for you to really uh, work with your uh, children at home and you as a family to engage in science learning at a deeper level. So go to azscience.org, look for information on Connect at Arizona Science Center, and you can learn more information about this fantastic digital platform that we are launching uh, for families and educators um, beginning Monday, July 27th. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, as always, if you need any support, just reach out to us at Arizona Science Center. Have a fantastic Wednesday.